What I want to do to go along with our uh, angle measure is I would like to uh, show you how to measure using a protractor. Not tremendously complicated. If you already know how to do this, forget this video and go on. In order to do that, we're going to have to create some angles. And in order to create some angles, I'm going to use what we call our line drawer. And I'm going to, let me see, I'm going to create an angle starting here, go to here. Create another angle over here and go to there, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look at my tools. We're going to get the math tools and I'm going to get a protractor. We're going to use that protractor, okay? We're going to move that protractor to where there's a little point right here. You see this where the zero line crosses with this right here? We're going to move this protractor until that is right there where the vertex is. Okay? Now, the other thing we have to do is we have to rotate this protractor until this zero line is on one of the rays or one of the sides of this angle. Let's start over here. Let's set it up where the zero line is over here. Now, what we do is we start with the zero right there, okay? So right here is zero, whoops, right here is zero degrees, and we're going to go and we're going to read to over here, and what do we have? Oh, that's a little weird. It looks like we have right about 90 degrees, okay? All right? So what we have is we have a 90 degree angle. Now, Let's do something a little different. Let's erase that. Let's draw us another line, another set of angles. Okay, to there. Let's go like this, to there. Okay, let's move this over to where we got that right like that. Let's, this time, let's go from this direction. Let's move it up just a little bit. And let's go from this zero line. Okay, from this zero line. So what we've got is this right here is now our zero over here because we're on this zero line. We're going to measure this direction and it looks like it's in between 60 and the 70. 0, 10, 20, 30. So we're using the small numbers. Okay, and it looks like it's a little more than 75. So it looks like we're about at 70, da, 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 about 77 or 76 degrees. Okay? Let's do one more sample of how we do this. Let's clear this. Let's get our lines back up here so we can draw another one. Let's move this over here out of the way. Let's draw another line. This time let's draw an obtuse. Whoa, we've got to stop that. Let's draw, no, I don't want to do that. Let's draw an obtuse angle. What's an obtuse angle? That's correct. One that is greater than 90. It looks like it is anyway. Let's see what happens on this funny screen. Now let's put our protractor in position. We're going to put that point right there. Okay. Now the protractor is in class. That's actually a little point with a hole in it. You're going to put that vertex right there on that point where that crosses the zero line and the 90 degree line. Now we're going to move this so that our Zero line is over here. And we're going to start where? Where the zero line is. All right? So this is zero, whoops. This is zero degrees, okay? And we're going to measure this way because this is where zero is. Let's come over here. Wow, we went further over. We're using the larger number now. It's between 110 and 120. It's about halfway between. So this would be 115 degrees. Well, I don't want to do it that way, coach. Okay, fine. Let's erase that right there. Why do you want to do it? You want to do it this way? Oh, yeah, I want to measure it this way. I like it that way better. Okay, let's move this just a hair where it needs to go. Good. So we put it on this zero line. So now this is our zero. And we're going to measure this way. Starting with 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. Should get the same. We evidently moved it a little bit. It looks like it's right at 110. 
14 degrees. Should have come up with 115. Maybe we didn't have it set up exactly right the other way. In fact, let's change it and see what comes up. If we just, all we do is twist. Wow, look at that. That actually comes up when we measure it this way. From 0 to 114 degrees. Which is what we should have. It's how you use a protractor to measure angles.